So we have a question on here that's talking about proving um, that something happens so with this sequence. Uh, we're having to prove the difference between the squares of any two terms is always a multiple of 24. <coughs> right, so they're talking about the difference between the squares. Um, so again, under the what do we know, then we should remember that um, the difference of two squares can always be written as the product of two brackets, where you've got a plus b in the first bracket and a take away b in the second bracket. Um, because it's talking about an arithmetic sequence, then uh, we're talking about uh, n's and m's in this case, because we're talking about any two terms. So the first thing we've got to do is work out the nth term of the sequence. So the nth term of the sequence, well, we can see that it's going up in sixes. So we know that it's a linear sequence, so it's going to be so many n's, and the number of n's comes from the uh, difference, the first difference. And then how do we turn the 6 into the first term? Well, we've got to add 1. So the nth term for the sequence is 6n plus 1. It's talking about the difference between the squares of any two terms. So it's the squares of the terms. So we'll call, we'll, we'll say, right, n is one term, and m is another term. So in terms of this one, then we'd have 6n plus 1 all squared. And in terms of this one, we'd have 6n plus 1 all squared. And it's talking about the difference between them. So we've got the difference there. So we've got lots of ways of trying to do this. So we could expand the brackets and then multiply out. Or we could use the rule for the difference of two squares and end up with two brackets and so forth and see what we get from that. So. Um, we're going to multiply out the brackets and see what happens. So we've got an expansion of two brackets because it's, uh, so this is saying 6n plus 1 times 6n plus 1 take away, and I've used a square bracket here to try and make sure that I'm being careful with my takeaways. That if I end up with any uh, negative negatives then I'll recognise it turns into a positive and so forth. So expanding two brackets, um, uh, then we should recognise that the first term is multiplied gives you 36n squared. We've then got 6n times 1 and another 6n times 1, which gives you a total of 12n's, and then we've got 1 times 1, which is 1. We're then taking away this, well 6m times 6m is 36m squared. Um, we've got uh, 6m times 1 and 6m times 1, which gives us a total of 12m's, and then we've got 1 times 1, which is going to be 1. We then simplify this through, then we've got 36n squared take away 36m squared. We've got 12n's take away 12m's, and then we've got 1 take away 1, which just means the 1's have disappeared. So that's what we've got at the moment. Um, we're trying to prove that it's always a multiple of 24, so we need to think of something that's going to help us. Well, hopefully we can see that 12 is a common factor to all of these, so we can factorise this down. So 12, uh, we've got 3n squared, take away 3m squared, plus n, take away m. Um, and if we deal with um, the separate parts of this, then we can see from this that this would factorise to 12 brackets, 3n squared, take away m squared, plus n, take away m. And from our difference of two squares um, that we spoke about at the beginning of this, then we could rewrite what's in here as um, 12 brackets, 3 lots of n plus m times n minus m plus n minus m. And then we should recognise that actually we've got a common factor to both of these bits. We've got n minus m and n minus m. So we could turn this into 12, 3 brackets, n plus m. Uh, sorry, n minus m is a common factor, sorry. N minus M comes out, and then it would be times N plus M plus 1. Okay, so let's just confirm how this all worked. There was an N minus M there and an N minus M there, so we can take that out as a common factor, N minus M, and if I divide that by N minus M, I'm left with N plus M, and if I divide that by N minus M, I'm left with plus 1, so that's why we ended up with this. Um, so what we've got to do then is we want to prove that this is a multiple of 24, because uh, that's what the question wanted, is always a multiple of 24, then we have to prove that this is a multiple of 2. So in other words, it's even all, all times, even for all n and m. That's what we need to prove. 
But if we can prove that this is even, doesn't matter what value of n and m you've got, then we prove that 12 times an even number will always be a multiple of 24. So let's have a look. Um, assuming n cannot equal m, but it says between the squares of any two terms of the sequence, so any two terms means there must be different terms. So n and m must be different. So n does not equal m. Um, so let's see what happens. Um, let's see what happens when m and m are both odd. Okay, so an odd. So basically then we've got an odd, take away an odd, times an odd, plus an odd, take away one. Well, an odd, take away an odd. Um, five, take away three is always even. An odd plus an odd, three plus three is six even, take away one is odd. And an even times an odd is always even. Okay, so if any of them are both odd, then this will always be even, and three times even is always even. Okay, so this always produces uh, an even answer. If n and m are both even, what happens? Well, an even take away an even produces an even. An even plus an even plus one. Why did I put plus? That's plus one. An odd plus an odd. Even, that's odd, yeah, that's still odd anyway. Um, anyway, so that's what we've got. We've got an even, so we've got an even and even. 4 plus 1 is 8 plus 1 is odd, so we've got even times odd again. But that always produces even. So, even number. And um, 1 odd, 1 even. Okay, so in the first bracket, um, we've got, say, an odd take away an even. Um, odd, take away even, 5 take away 4 is odd. And then we've got um, an odd plus an even plus 1. Um, then 3 plus 4, 7, 8, even. So this will always give me an even. So again, this always gives me an even number. Okay, so basically um, we've proven, so basically therefore um, 3 n minus m brackets n plus m plus 1 always even 12 times an even number must be a multiple of 24 QED therefore I've shown Okay, Nick, so this was quite a complex question, uh, hence it's worth six marks. Um, first thing to do is work out the linear uh, rule for the uh, sequence, because it's an arithmetic sequence. Um, so 6n plus 1, that'll get you one mark anyway, just for method. Um, it said the difference of two squares, so it looked like we might be using this idea of what the difference of two squares always factorises to. Um, we want um, any two terms, so I've said um, we'll use n to get a value for one term and m to get a value for another term within this sequence. We then expanded the brackets, looked for uh, common factors, and saw that when we, the, when we did the common factors, we had 12 times a series of brackets. At this stage, we recognised that when we factorised, we had the difference of two squares, hence the reason I wrote this. And then we realised that actually we have common factor here again, n minus m. And then we realise that uh, because we want to prove things with a multiple of 24, then this bracket has to give us an even number all the time. And to do that, we have to go through the ideas of what happens if n and m are both odd and even. Um, and when we went through the process of seeing what happens, we found that it doesn't matter which combination you have, n and m both odd, n and m both even, n are odd and m even, then we ended up with an even answer in here, whatever happens, just under the basic idea of odd and even rules. Um, and because of that, we know that we're doing 12 times an even number, and even numbers must be multiples of 2, and 12 times 2 is 24. So therefore we had a multiple of 24 as our final answer. OK, so quite a complex question, but worth 6 marks, and it is the last question on the paper, so it does suggest it's the grade 9 to push you a little bit, guys. OK, but possible with a bit of practice.